Essential things to know before getting a kitten or cat. Many cat owners experienced this before. They like to have a cat, and then before making any preparations to welcome a new family member to their home, they adopted one. And then realized a lot of stuff that they missed out. Well fret not, this video will help you on the essentials you need to prepare before adopting that cute little furball into his or her forever love home. Just to take note, it is widely recognized that a cat aged from zero to one year old is a kitten. Kittens should be with their mother until a minimum of 12 weeks old. By this age, kittens are generally well-developed socially and health-wise before separating from their mother. Therefore the best recommended age to adopt a kitten is from 12 weeks old onwards. 1. Feeding. When it comes to feeding, do not use plastic bowls that easily breeds germs and bacteria. Instead use ceramic, steel or glass bowls, which are harder for germs and bacteria to breed and to prevent chin acne on your kitty. 2. Water fountains are an excellent way for clean, fresh water to keep your kitty hydrated. It should be made from the same material as the cat food bowl. This saves time for you as the owner, or you can choose to change water every few hours to keep it fresh and clean because dust and other particles can collect in stagnant water. Therefore, running, clean water is the best. That's why in nature, animals prefer drinking in running rivers than stagnated water. 3. Litter boxes. The litter box should be filled to about 5 cm deep from the bottom, and about one and a half length of the cat's body. Cats and kittens like to move around in their litter box before doing their business. For choice of litter, use unscented natural clump litter. Most cats will turn away from scented litters. Avoid clay litter as well, it is dirty and gets stuck to their paws. You do not want the floor dirted with sticky clay on kitty paws after they are done with their business. This is what is called tracking. Do not use liners as well. Their claws will get stuck onto the liners when they try to cover their litter. Cats and kittens do not like this and this will make them avoid using the litter box completely in the future. Keep the litter box clean by scooping at least two times a day, depending on the number of kitten you have and the frequency of their business. 4. Food. Do not feed dry food as a primary diet, instead slowly transition to wet food for a longer and healthier life. Give your kitten or cat grain-free food because they are obligate carnivores and they need meat to get the proper nutrients for their body. Test a few wet food brands that sits well with your cat's tummy and has good nutritional value. 5. Bedding. A bedding can be a place where they can comfortably stretch and curl up. It can be your own bed, a cat tree post, or their own lazy corner. Place a blanket or cloth that is soft and scent soaked with their smell. This makes them feel warm, safe and comfortable. That is why you see some cats love to sleep in a laundry basket. 6. Scratching posts, sisal rope, carpet, bare wood are the best material for kittens and cats to exercise their claws to remove materials and mark their territory. Scratching is a part of their nature. For kittens or cats that like to stretch while scratching up, a tall rectangular post with a wide base and sturdy built is best for them. Some cats like their scratching post flat or inclined in a triangular position. Try a few for your kitten and cat to see which ones they like. 7. Cat trees are great to keep your kittens and cats occupied. They like to observe their territory from a safe place and from a high spot. It is also where they can laze and lounge or take a nap. Cat trees also protect your furniture, counters and cabinets from their scratches. 8. An absolute must for kittens are toys like feather wands or kickback toys, especially those scented with catnip or with treats inside them. Kittens are highly energetic compared to adult cats. So you will need to spend lots of playtime with them before they can doze off the whole night. It is best to play with them one hour before your bedtime. And do not offer your bare hands when playing with kittens. As they grow up, their claws and teeth get sharper. You would not want to risk an injury. 9. Cat Carrier A good investment, cat carriers should be big enough for cats to turn around and not cramped. Also you need to put a blanket with their scent, where they can feel comfortable and safe. It should be not too open or closed and preferably airline friendly. 10. 
Safety, a breakaway collar is safe for your kitten in case they got stuck in a fence or in between a hard object so they won't injure their neck or other parts of their body if they get trapped. Also, a microchip collar is the best way to keep track of your kitten in case they go missing and you need to know their location by GPS. But microchipping just underneath your cat's skin is to let pet shelters and vet clinics know who the cat belongs to if they are found. Your cat information is stored in the RFID chip itself, so do not forget to update if you are moving. You can ask your vet more info on this. Furthermore, it is sterile and safe. However, RFID chips does not have GPS function. 11. Grooming. Clip the nails using a kitten's nail clipper. Press the knuckle slightly and nip just the tip of the nail. Do not clip the pink area where the blood vessels are. Brushing is also important. It keeps the dirt and dead fur off your pet and stimulates the oil in the skin keeping your kitten's skin healthy and moisturized. The type of brush depends on the one your cat feels comfy with. Try different types until your kitten settles with one that they like. Also giving them treats is a good way to keep them occupied when trimming their nails. 12. Kitten-proof your house. Kittens are highly energetic and very, very inquisitive bunch. They will explore and climb everything that is possible and squeeze into the slimmest crack they can find. Therefore, lock your kitchen cabinet and cupboard doors. Keep your thrash and compost covered. Tie or bundle up loose wires and cords. Cats and kittens can get injured or strangle themselves in them. Avoid poisonous plants, throw away loose plastics, strings, keep away breakable items like vases, glass and so on. Next video I will cover more on how to cat-proof your home. 13. Finally, it will take time for kittens to adjust to their new home, and they may be hesitant at first. But once they feel safe and comfortable at home, they be zooming around and all over your life. Check out the links in the description below to help you and your kitten or cat in their new forever home. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.